if we move our perspective up and we lift up one of those cerebellar hemispheres, we reveal the pica, the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. So in most cases, the pica originates um, from the intradural intracranial vertebral artery, but its origin is pretty variable. 20% of the time, it, it arises extracranially inferior to the foramen magnum. 10% um, of the time, it arises, uh, arises from the basal artery. Um, sometimes they're absent. Um, so it, it's a bit variable. Um, but we can see here, here's our vertebral artery coming up, entering the dura right here. And this is uh, the origin of the uh, pike, actually, right here, where my pointer is. It looks like it's over here, but this is just... Uh, I think it's wrapping around. Um, and it comes right here, comes down, and has this nice tortuous course. So let's, let's have a look and follow the course of the pica quickly. So this is a left side, right? This is our, we're, we're from posterior, we're looking anterior. Um, this is the left cerebellar hemisphere, we're lifting up. And as we can see here, as it arises from the vertebral artery right here, it forms its anterior medullary segment. And why? Well, in most cases, it's, it's about at the level of the medulla on its anterior surface, hence anterior medullary segment. So it comes off of the vert anterior medullary segment and it courses laterally around, again, in most cases around the medulla, so it forms its lateral medullary segment, and then it starts to come inferiorly. And this is a very classic, um, course for the pica because it forms this loop here that's commonly known as the caudal loop of the pica. In, in cerebrovascular surgery, if you're doing bypass, it's a common bypass site um, because it's very superficial for posterior revascularization and easy to get to. Um, and so it comes down, and in this, this is called the tonsil medullary segment because, you know, hence the medulla and the cerebellar tonsils. Um, so it comes down, it forms this caudal loop um, and we, you know, obviously caudal because it's going in, in the direction of the cauda. And it turns around and it comes back up. And it comes underneath the cerebellar hemisphere. It's a really tortuous vessel. It has, it has quite a, an interesting course. So it comes back down, it comes out, or, you know, goes around and then down, caudal loop, coming all the way back up underneath the hemisphere. Um, and forming the telovelotonsillar segment. And then it comes up and it comes up and then it courses down again. Uh, it comes up, it courses all the way down and it kind of envelops the uh, cerebellar hemisphere from inferior. You can see that here, that's that it comes up, it turns down. And then from the medial aspect right here, it hugs it all the way around, supplying blood uh, through the cortical segments. So uh, the pica, you know, very interesting, very torturous vessel. Um, and it arises, um, actually we'll see when we go anteriorly at the level with which it arises. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.